Hi everyone, I'm Becca and I'm the manager of gallery activities at Cincinnati Museum Center. Today I'm going to be demonstrating one of our favorite programs that we offer in the Duke Energy Children's Museum that you can play at home. Uh, this activity is called Jolly Jumpers. It's inspired by one of our animal ambassadors found at the Museum Center. Her name is Georgina the American Toad. And the game combines physical activity with our natural curiosity to explore the world around us. What I really love about it is you don't need much in order to recreate it at home. Um, the main thing you do need is a big open space so that you can safely jump around. I like to go outside, but you can also clear some space in a basement or in a living room. Some other supplies that might be helpful are a measuring tape, preferably at least 5 feet long masking or painter's tape for easy cleanup, and a writing utensil. Um, if you're going outside, you could replace any of these with just chalk and sticks. The goal of this activity is to compare our jump to a frog's jump. Frogs are cold-blooded vertebrate animals, uh, and there's a couple difference between them and Georgina, who is a toad. She's actually characterized by her dry, bumpy skin. She prefers to live on land, and she actually has a shorter body and legs. So she might not be able to jump as far as other species of frogs, but we want to see if we're able to. All right, for this video, I've asked a few of my friends to join us again to help us out today. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> Can you guys think of any animals that like to jump? Frogs. Frogs, yeah. Are there kangaroos. kangaroos? Yeah. Are there any other animals? Monkeys. Monkeys. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Any others? Mm -hmm. I don't think any Grasshoppers. Grasshoppers. And insects. Counts. I'll count it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So today we're going to be talking all about frogs. Do you guys know anything cool about frogs? They get bigger every year. They get bigger? Yeah. Do you know what it, they're called when they're a baby and they're just tadpole. swimming? A tadpole, yeah. Any other cool frog facts? Yeah? That when they're born, they're underwater, but as they grow, they grow legs and get out of the water. That is such a cool fact. First, we'll have to do just a little bit of math. Did you know that some frogs can jump 20 times their own length? So, if a frog is hypothetically 3 inches long, how far would that be? We'll need to multiply 20 times 3. Do you know what that is? If you guess 60 inches, you're correct! So I asked my friends to choose a piece of chalk and make a starting point. We then measured 60 inches, or 5 feet away. We then made guesses about who we thought could jump the farthest and how far we thought we could jump. With our toes on the starting line, I asked them to do their best frog impression, bend down low, and spring forward. Each time you land, you get to mark your spot to compare. You can even have a contest against yourself if you're overly competitive like me. Oh, you guys are such good jumpers. Of course, whenever you do a game like this, there are so many educational connections you can make. For this, I love to share some of my favorite toad facts, and there are some fun vocabulary terms you can throw in, too. For example, did you know that adult American toads are nocturnal? Which means they're most active at night when they're looking for their favorite foods, like insects and worms and spiders, yum, and that also makes them carnivores. You'll find American toads in eastern parts of the United States and Canada, and they can live wherever there is moist soil and vegetation. Um, they're also like me, and they don't like the cold, so during the winter months they hibernate, burying themselves underground and slowing their metabolism down. If you want to continue learning even more, some other questions you can ask are what other characteristics frogs have that help them survive in their environment. You can research other jumping animals and see how the size of their jumps compare to the size of a frog's jump. You can also do even more math and figure out 
If you had to jump 20 times your own height, how far is that? I hope you had fun with me today. For more activities as well as lesson plans, be sure to check us out at cincymuseum.org and follow us on social media. Be sure to say hi to our Georgina in the Duke Energy Children's Museum. And my team and I look forward to seeing you when Cincinnati Museum Center reopens. We are a nonprofit, so we rely on ticket sales in order to operate, which unfortunately isn't possible right now. If you enjoyed this activity, I hope you'll consider supporting us and donating at cincymuseum.org. I'll see you next time.